you guys and happy whatever day today is um i have my different setup going on i'm trying to record in different settings just because i get bored of the same thing so i'm in my room right now and yeah hopefully you guys like this view okay so today i'm going to do a hair review on my first wig and i know tons of you have heard of my first wig um so this is the wig i have right now um and before i get into the details about the wig i am going to take the wig off and show you my braid pattern just so you guys can get um a gist of what it looks like underneath because i've been getting a lot of questions like what do you do with your hair underneath? How does your braid pattern look? Blah, blah, blah. So uh, here it goes. Okay, so this is it underneath. Like, this is it, okay? So I don't know how to cornrow backwards. So basically what I do is I'm going to take this down. I do um, a braid going down this side. This front part is for leave out in case I do wear my flip over method wig. Like, this is the hair that gets left out. So I kind of just like tuck it in there and these braids are old so please don't like judge me. Um, so yeah, so I'm like literally about to take this all out. So I don't know how to um, braid backwards. So in the back, I just plait the hair. So um, I have like a couple plaits going on. So I do, no, I do two back here. So these are two plaits. And then I just take that braid right here that the combs go inside of. Um, and I just braid those together to make a braid like that. And then I do it to the other side as well. Um, usually those, like that leave out braid in the front, I usually will put a bobby pin in. And then I just take it and I twist it and put a bobby pin in my hair. And that's like literally, I look like I look like alfalfa from the Little Rascals. But yeah, so that's what I do. Um, and these braids, like if I'm wearing a lace wig, I'll just braid it down. If I have my flip over method wig on, then I leave this out for my leave out. So right now, I just tuck it in or I bobby pin it. Um, kind of low on bobby pins. So yeah, so this is like my braid pattern underneath my wig. Okay, so I'm gonna put the wig back on and this is the inside of the wig, by the way. It has combs in it and it's a middle part. So just put it on like this. <laughs> okay, and then you adjust it to your liking. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my brush and kind of like comb through it. Um, this wig is not glued down, taped down, nothing. I didn't even put the combs in it, so I just like literally put it on my head. But look how pretty it is. Look at that. You see that? Bam! Yeah, it's super duper pretty. Alright, so this is what it looks like, and I like to put some back. Um, so I didn't put anything up here on the um, lace part. I just literally plopped it on my head. Okay, so like I said, this hair is for my first wig, and... In my first wigs box, it comes with a wig carrying thing. And I think I said this in my other videos. You can like take a hole puncher and punch a hole in it and put it in your closet and hang it up on a clothes hanger, which is great. Um, it comes with the information about the wig. So this is LFW017, silky 16 inches. Um, the color is a 2 slash 5D um, lace front wig cap size one and color light brown and what I love oh my gosh and what I love about um uh, my first wig is they give you this cute little carrying case and it used to be white and black and I guess they have pink and black now so this is really cute it comes with the elastic band um so the elastic band I have not put it on yet but you sew it from ear to ear on the wig and you have to cut it to make it as tight as you want but it helps the wig stay down, which I really enjoy that because I don't need my wig flying off anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it comes with the clips and bobby pins, which I probably already taken out and used already. So um, it also it comes with this flyaway tamer, which I already put on. But it says say goodbye, goodbye, <laughs> say goodbye to frizzy hair. So 
you just take it and you put it on your flyaways which is great so yes yeah, so this is it and I love it it's like really silky and soft and it just like does that you know that thing like that so uh, yeah so please let me know what you think about this wig if you like the color of it um, I do like the color but I might um, if I depending on how experimental I feel I might um, make it like a lighter color especially for the springtime just like lighten it up a little bit and make it more like an ash blonde brown color but who knows but please let me know what you think about the wig i hope you enjoyed the video and all the info below is all the info below all the info is below and yeah so make sure you check that out and i'll see you in my next video bye you guys